These are my materials, a needle, a 4.5mm hook, scissors, tape measure and a weight for yarn. So firstly, we will start by making a chain about 9.5 inches. Okay. Make 9.5 inches of chain. After that, I'll show you what to do. So here as you can see I have nine and a half inches and you skip your two stitches here you have one two on the third stitch back bump only make one half double crochet and then to the next stitch back bump only okay not from this side but from the back side only make one half double crochet in each stitch using only the back bump so when you complete your round i'll show you what to do so this is the first round of your half double crochet stitch and Take a marker and mark this one end of your work. We will increase in the side where we mark and decrease from this side. And then chain 2. The chain 2 will not count as a stitch. So insert your hook into this very first stitch here through both the loops and to the next stitch back loop only pull up a loop and finish as one half double crochet and in between these stitches we will do only half double crochet back loop only so half double crochet half double crochet back loop only Okay, not through both the loops, back loops only. And just like that, complete your round. I, I will show you what to do when we are here. So in the last stitch here, in the space where you mark, in the space between the half double crochet and the chain 2 here, in there you make two half double crochet in the same space and chain two and the chain two is not a stitch okay in every round the chain two is not a stitch so you keep your marker here just to remind you that this is the space that you will increase okay in every round from the space that we mark here from this one end we will increase and from this other end here we will decrease so into the first stitch here make two half double crochets in the same space we are increasing and again in each stitch here all across you will have one half double crochet back loop only Okay, complete your round I'll see you when you are two stitches before the end here so by the end of this round your last stitch is between this space here you have this chain two and this cluster of two half double crochet so one and two stitch you should have like this okay we will decrease in this side so insert your hook into the back loop only here pull a loop and then into this space pull a loop and close as one half double crochet and again you chain two and the chain two is not your stitch so again 
we will start by decreasing insert your hook here and into the next stitch and close and again you work one half double crochet back loop only in each stitch until you are here and from this side we are going to increase again in the last space here make two half double crochets in one space so keep your marker close so you won't forget to increase again chain two and the chain two is not a stitch so make your increase again here two to half double crochets and then one half double crochet in each stitch back loop only and again when you are one and two stitch left i'll show you what to do so two stitches left go back loop only and to this space here pull your loop and close and you chain two again from this side we always end and start our round with a decrease and from this side end and start your round with an increase and then back loop only this is what you will have a diagonal fabric okay I'll show you you will have something look like this okay and this is what you are going to repeat okay decrease from this side and increase from the other end and then i am going to work my fabric until i have about uh, 17 and a half or close to 18 inches okay use your measurement right from this point okay and when you get to that length i will show you what to do so it's this is the fabric that you get and it would look like this okay so take measurement of this ends only from this to this side and I'm a bit under nine inches but that's okay it will stretch a little when you use it right so take this other end here and pull this loop and a front loop of this okay front loop not the back loop a front loop and the back loop of the other side slip stitch and then front loop and back loop slip stitch front loop and back loop slip stitch front back from the other side and slip stitch 
and just like that you are going to join these two ends together to make a big tube and here you cut your yarn but not too short because we are going to use this tail only to sew the head of our hat then secure and just do this all around okay secure and do that And when you feel that your heart is secure enough, then secure your yarn here. Here you have a beautiful hat. See? It is easy now to make this one. So how you feel about this hat? Please let me know in the comments below. So thank you so much.